गुड आफ्टरनून स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज विनी श्रीवास्तव असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स एंड कम्युनिकेशन दिस इज अ इंट्रोडक्शन वीडियो लेक्चर ऑफ ई सी फाइव जीरो थ्री ए दैट इज सी एन टी एल कम्युनिकेशन नेटवर्क एंड ट्रांसमिशन लाइन this is basically a departmental elective subject in fifth semester electronics and communication engineering so this is overall a introductory video lecture about the cntl so here we discuss some important contents which cover all the important topic of the cntl why we study cntl what is the industrial application in the real time example of the cntl now we move to the outlines so initially we discuss about the prerequisites what is the requirements for this subject as a prerequisite then we discuss about the course objective what is the objective of the this subject then we discuss about the some introduction of the subject it is the important point why is tree cntl because whenever we study any subject so this is the important thing why we study this subject after completion of the subject can we relate the concept of the subject with industrial application and the real life examples so this is both these important points so we discuss industrial application and real life examples which relate with c and tl then we discuss university syllabus what type of contents are basically cover in the entire syllabus entire syllabus are divided in five units then we discuss about the objective of lab work because in c and tl we have a lab discuss about the lab experiment what type of the experiment are covered like for taking some data readings plotting some graph so we have different type of the applications and after completion of experiment the ability of the students regarding operating the equipments taking readings analyze the result also enhance then we finally comes out over the course outcome it is very important whenever the students complete any subject after completion of the subject the different type of the ability are formed so that we discuss about the course outcome what is the outcomes uh, comes after completion of course at the last discuss about the reference and some test books so we move to the next slide that is prerequisites so a basic idea regarding the partial fraction complete fraction expansion filter designing is enough to understand the topic covered in this subject because student already having some idea of the filter designing in the egc so here in the cntl there are some complex filter designing uh in the syllabus like m drive filter because we discussed previously in electronic circuit about the active and passive filters but here in cntl we have the designing of the m drive filter composite filter and some approximations so as a prerequisite student having some knowledge of active and passive filter which is already covered in electronics in third and fourth sem and they have some idea regarding partial and continued fraction some mathematical topic which is required whenever we uh, cover the syllabus of the synthesis portion that is requirement in this case partial fraction and continued fraction that this is also important considerable factor in communication network and transmission line so these are some prerequisite which is required here so next we move to the course objectives so there are some points which are comes about the course objective this course introduce the basic concept of transmission lines and communication network so here we discuss about some communication network 
symmetrical acceptance networks and the transmission line different type of the transmission line are used like coaxial cable optical fiber and twisted pair etc so we after complete the, this is the objective of the course after completion of course we have some concept of communication network and transmission line are developed now design analysis of filter and attenuators and their use in various applications so the filter designing is very important as we earlier discussed and attenuators is also important topic so we are in position to design an analysis of filter and attenuator because there are wide application wide application are in at industry level and wide used of the filter and attenuation uh, attenuators are at industry level we discuss filter and attenuators in brief in upcoming slides so third objective is designing of circuit with the help of synthesis as we know that about the analysis network analysis analysis means whenever we uh, observe some output but synthesis means we have some input and output on the basis of input output we design the circuit so we are design some circuit with the help of the synthesis portion and calculation of different transmission line parameter along the fault uh, calculation so during the transmission of the power we use transmission line a different type of the parameters primary and secondary parameter also important how we can calculate these parameters and how we calculate the fault over the line because the line is very long up to the kilometers so this is important point how we can calculate the fault localization how we how we can calculate the fault over the transmission line. so these are some important objectives which are covered now we move to the introduction of the subject here so in introduction of the subject this communication network transmission line that is cntl so this is the attenuators so first attenuators as we know that attenuators the real example of the attenuators is mobile charger attenuator means attenuation to me means loss so in mobile charger what the mobile charger is done they reduce the 220 volt up to 5 to 10 volt so this is a portion of the cntl and this is the real life example filter designing is also important considerable factor as we earlier discussed at the various application are widely used in industry in the filter designing so filter designing is very important it is widely used at industry level so we design a first order second order higher order filter composite filter and m drive filter and synthesis is also important because in network we cover all the analysis portion here we designed the circuit we want to design the circuit we have some input vm output if we providing this input we found, we must we find this output so what a type of the circuit is required what type of the circuitry is required when we give this output this input and we find out required output so what type of the circuit is required for this so here we uh, study about the synthesis and the core foster network uh comes in this synthesis portion the transmission line is ultimately important because the uh, power are basically transferred through the transmission line from the uh, generation point to the distribution point so we studied about the different parameter of the transmission line primary uh, constant secondary uh, constant location uh, of the fault is important things so these are the overall structure of the cntl here so this is the just introduction of the subject now why study cntl it is important point why study cntl first network then active and passive filter designing is important line with any termination and reflection and ultra high frequency line so in initially we develop the network like symmetrical and asymmetrical network and there is a requirement of proper Uh, impedance matching like uh, image impedance and iterative impedance because without impedance matching the information never be transferred so impedance matching is very important then we design about the active and the passive filter filter is also important as we earlier discussed on the point to be uh, on the industry application based it is important in point of view of industry and there are different type of the applications in which the we use filter line with any termination and reflection so whenever we transfer 
the power of the signal over the line there is a requirement of the minimum reflection so reflection is very important considerable factor so we are concentrating about the reflection and termination what type of the termination is required so that the reflection will be minimum because the reflection will be minimum it means loss are minimum and the maximum information are transferred at last ultra high frequency lines are basically used and here we use smith chart for determining the calculation of the parameter over the transmission line so there are wide used of the cntl at the industry label application label so this is the importance of uh, why we study cntl so here the industrial applications here we consider one application here so in this figure we are concentrating this is the regulated power supply so we gives here the input is the regulated power supply that is the rectifier which convert the ac into dc this is the ac alternating current and this is the direct current we have seen that but it is not a pure dc so then it is passed through a filter here so here the we use the filter this filter this is not a pure dc because there is some ac component at present so that's why it is known as pulsating dc but we want to pure dc in this form so we pass this pulsating dc to the filter filter reduce the ac level which present in dc then we pass through the voltage regulator and we find out the pure dc and given to the load so here we use the filter in the regulated power supply so that they it reduce the ac level which present in dc so there are different type of the applications of the filters and others which are comes in communication networks and, and transmission line are widely used at industry application now real life example cntl i already discussed mobile chargers adapters mobile charger is very good real example we use different type of the adapters they are also reduce the power voltage because supply voltage is 220 volt so they reduce the voltage level because mobile and most of the devices are required very less less power like laptop they are required very less power for charging so we use adapter charger so these are very important mobile charger and adapter these are comes under the category of attenuator they attenuate the voltage reduce the voltage because most of the devices required less voltage so these are a very good example of cntls in real life location of fault in cable there is any fault uh, arises in the cable so we can uh, uh, find out the location and where the fault is comes and we can easily maintenance that so this is important real life example calculation of fault transmission lines we use different type of the transmission line for the wire transmission data transmission we use coaxial cable twisted pair copper wire lines for the transmission so we are widely seen in daily life so these are some real life example of cntl so now we move to the <coughs> we have required these 43 lectures for cover up all the syllabus which are divided into the five units in first unit we required 10 lectures in second one we have 8 9 and fourth one we have 8 and fifth one we have 8 lecture eight lectures so overall 43 lectures are required so this is the university syllabus in uh, sort the detailed syllabus are available on website so in first unit we discuss about the attenuators that are symmetrical and asymmetrical networks impedance matching then second unit belongs to the filter active passive filter m drive composite and different type of approximation that is butterworth and chebyshev in third we have synthesis portion herbert polynomial foster core forms bruns and bot defen methods in unit 4 this n fifth belongs to the transmission lines so here we discuss about standing wave ratio swr open circuit short circuit lines location of fault in cable in last one we a very good topic that is smith chart in the other that is widely used for the calculation of the parameters single and double stem match and impedance circle diagram so this is the overall syllabus objective of lab lab work because lab are are basically associated with cntl so an ability to operate lab equipment definitely when we complete the lab so student are able to operate lab equipment to understand the basic concept of communication network transmission line verify their operations 
to measure attenuation location of fault over transmission line because it is very important calculation of the fault and attenuation measurement because whenever we move from the source or the generation point attenuation is increases loss is increases how we calculate the loss identify various filter and various verify their operations uh, low pass high pass bend pass bend stop m drive filters and draw the uh, graph we are taking the reading and draw the graph and analyze the behavior of the filter because filter are widely used in industry and after all an ability to verify measure and record experimental data readings analyze result and prepare a reliability report list of experiments we cover here 10 experiments but we perform more than 10 so these are some experiment is experiment number 1 sending wave information measure characteristic impedance vswr voltage standing wave ratio reflection coefficient is also measured because uh, when the reflection is low so maximum info information is transferred so it is very important practical calculation of the reflection coefficient to measure the dielectric constant of insulator to measure velocity of propagation attenuation measurement is also important reactive load different between lossy and lossless line to study the difference between lossy and lossless line Physi physical dimension of transmission line estimation of characteristic impedance to study behavior of infinite and short line so these are some experiment so what is the overall course outcomes analyze different voltage and current parameters over transmission line so where there are different type of the parameter calculated whenever uh, we work over the transmission line and these are divided into primary and secondary constant so it is important so with the help of different type of concept which are in cntl we are in such a position to calculate different parameters which is important considerable factor during the designing of transmission line designing of filter and network the various industry applications understand the concept of impedance matching image impedance and its significance use the smith chart as a graphical method and with the help of this we can easily calculate the parameter which is used in the designing process so these are some suggested reference and test book tondi rider network and transmission line by phi learning walkin work by willy india race electric circuit and network pearson education electromagnetic field theory and transmission line by raju pearson education by san raju ji transmission line and wave guide ganeshan tmh rao electricity wave and transmission line phi learning so these are basically some reference and test book so in the upcoming video lectures we are basically talking about the attenuators there are two type of the attenuator that is symmetrical and asymmetrical so in first to two videos we discuss about the attenuators how we design the attenuators how we solve the numericals of the attenuator then we and then we move to the uh, communication network that are symmetrical and asymmetrical now we discover all the portion thank you students